I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. I'm gonna eat you, eat you, eat you. No one is gonna believe you. No one is coming to save you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. I'm gonna eat you, eat you, eat you. No one is gonna believe you. Your jokes on Earth are through. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Let's join Ruby. You and me with Ruby. I have an idea. Ruby story time. I am so thankful you got here quickly. Like I said on the phone, I spotted a big black spider under the table. And I'm afraid it might be poisonous. It needs to be removed immediately. Don't worry, Ruby. We here at Edwards Pest Removal Company can remove any kind of pest, big or small. That's no joke. <laughs> this spider is a big one. Come on, let me show you where it is. Watch out, Ruby! What is it? The spider? Did you see the spider? <laughs> Just wanted to see you jump. Just joking with you. Let me have a look. I told you we removed them all. Big or small and that's no joke. <laughs> I would appreciate you keeping the jokes to yourself, Edward. This is a serious matter. Spider! <laughs> Relax, Ruby. It's just a joke. <laughs> Jokes are supposed to make people laugh. Do you see me laughing, Edward? Now, yeah, where's the spider? I thought you were the pest removal professional. Move over. I think I found it. You got it? Oh, no, I lost it. Ah, it's in your hair! Get it off! Get it off! Oh! Ow! Oh! Oh! Ow! Ha ha ha! Ah, that's the best joke I played all day. Joke? Why, I oughta. You know what, Edward? I don't think I need your services after all. I'd have better luck catching that little spider myself. Come on, Ruby, lighten up. <laughs> Your behavior reminds me of a story I read a long time ago. Edward the Jokester, you can show yourself out. You're kidding, right? I'm afraid not. Take your joking elsewhere. I have a book to find and a spider to catch. I was just joking. Ugh. If you want something done right, you should just do it yourself. Come here, Spidey, Spidey. Come on now. No hidey, hidey. I gotcha. Well, hello there. Ruby here. Have I ever got a story to tell you, friends? Oh, this story has a few scary moments indeed. But don't you worry. It's just a story. You want to hear this story too? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, you just sit right there and be still and don't you move a muscle or I'll send you to bed with not even a crumb to eat. Oh, trust me, I will. I'm not joking. <coughs> Are you ready, friends? Let's begin. Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Eddie. He and his parents lived a quiet life in the village of Truthville. Not much to do in the village, except work in the gardens, cook food for the workers, and work in the gardens some more. The days turned to night, and the villagers would wake up and start the day just like the day before. Not a lot of excitement went on in Truthville. But a lot of work got done by many good-hearted villagers. Except Eddie. Mm-hmm. 
Eddie the Jokester. <sighs> so boring here. Nothing to do in this dumb village. Hi there, Eddie. If you are so bored, we could sure use some help in the garden. There's a lot of carrots to pick today, but be careful. A big wolf has been spotted in the woods near the garden. Oh, too bad. You know, I'd love to help you, but I've got a stomach ache, and if I have to work in the garden, I'm afraid I'd just get sicker. Sorry, pal. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, that's okay. I hope you get to feeling better, Eddie. You rest up now, and if there's anything I can do to help, you just holler at me. Oh, will do. <laughs> he fell for it. Now I can sit back and do what I did yesterday. Nothing. <laughs> Hi there, Eddie. I could sure use some help cooking up some chili and cornbread for the workers today. Everyone has been working so hard, and we need some extra hands in the kitchen. Oh, shoot. I do wish I could help you, but I was bitten by 28 mosquitoes. Yeah, they attacked my hands yesterday. Those little bloodsuckers really got me good. I can't even use my hands to wave. Hurts so bad. Oh, good heavens. I'm so sorry to hear this. You rest up, Eddie. I'll bring you some chili and cornbread a little later. Poor thing. Yeah, it was pretty rough. Hey, thanks for your concern. I think you're starting to see what kind of character Eddie has, aren't you? Mm-hmm. One that doesn't tell the truth. Being lazy and taking advantage of good-hearted people. Buckle up, friends. This story is about to get wicked. Just downright wicked. Oh, there's nothing happening exciting here in this town. Oh, I got an idea. I'm going to take a stroll down here to the woods, and I'm going to give the villagers something to holler about. <laughs> uh, help! Help, villagers! A giant hungry wolf has got me! Oh, save me from this beast! The villagers are so scared for Eddie. They must save him! They tromp down the road, run down the hill, ready to fight this wolf off. <laughs> Fooled ya! <laughs> you should have seen your faces. You were all as white as a ghost. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. It was a joke. There's no hungry wolf in the woods. The wolf eats you next time. <sighs> Yesterday was a little fun. <laughs> Pulling that joke on the villagers. I think I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I'm just going to take a stroll down here to the woods and I'm going to give the villagers something to holler about. <laughs> Help! Help, villagers! This giant hungry wolf has got me! Save me from this beast! Hmm. The villagers start to wonder if Eddie is telling the truth. We can't take the chance. Eddie could be in danger. Let's go save him. <laughs> Fooled ya! <laughs> oh, you should have seen your faces. You were all as white as a ghost. I'm fine, I'm fine. It was just a joke. There's no hungry wolf in the woods. You shouldn't do that, Eddie. It's not funny. Jokes are supposed to make people laugh. I am laughing. <laughs> oh, good. Yesterday was hilarious, pulling that joke on the villagers. I think I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I'm just going to take a stroll down here to the woods and give the villagers something to holler about. <laughs> <sighs> help, help, villagers. Hey, that giant hungry wolf has got me. Save me from this beast. No, we're not going to fall for this again. We're too tired as it is. 
We work all day into the night, and running back and forth to the woods so Eddie can get a big laugh isn't going to happen this time. Uh, uh, help! Dodgers! A giant hungry wolf has got me! Save me from this beast! I, I'm not joking! I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you, get ya! I'm gonna eat ya, eat ya, eat ya! No one is gonna believe you! No one is coming to save you! I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you, get ya! I'm gonna eat ya, eat ya, eat ya! No one is gonna believe you! Your jokes on Earth are through! <laughs> Whoa! What a story! Poor, poor Eddie. But for Pete's sake, why did he have to go and joke like that? That's just not funny. The villagers weren't laughing. I certainly wasn't laughing, and I know you weren't laughing. So why did he have to lie like that? Now Eddie won't get the chance to tell any more jokes. Or do anything, for that matter. He's in the belly of the wolf. Thank you for joining me, friends, here on Ruby Storytime. I do hope you enjoyed the story. And remember this, loud and clear. If you're going to tell a joke, make sure it's a joke that makes people smile. Jokes are supposed to be funny, not dishonest and mean-spirited. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a little spider to feed. <laughs> oh, there, there. Oh, little sweet pea. Did you get hungry while I was gone? Oh, you want Mama to feed you a piece of coconut cake? Oh, 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 oh Mama missed you. Oh, yes, I did. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Let's join Ruby. You and me with Ruby. I have an idea. Ruby's story time.